A week ago, I released this rant video and I've been getting a bunch of comments on my videos asking for an update. Did I end up solving the problem? And actually a viewer email ended up solving my problem. And what actually was going wrong and what fixed it is so annoying that that's how this whole thing was designed, that it's almost more frustrating than the issue I was running to in the first place. But anyway, it is fixed. Now, let me get you guys back up to speed on what was going on here. So uh, I was ranting about the frustrations of, okay, a lot of newer multiplayer games on PC have an anti-cheat system which requires you to set uh, secure boot on in your BIOS settings in your motherboard if it's it's not on by default. And I was not ranting about, you know, like, like it is kind of, um, uh, you know, th there's a whole thought process on whether we want to have like anti-cheats have like kernel level access to our PCs and all of that. And that's a whole other rant, uh, be, but that wasn't what this one was about. It was actually just about the process of enabling secure boot uh, on my PC actually seemed to have bricked the system, and I was running into some really frustrating issues. And I just kind of generally ranted about uh, how frustrating it is that PC gaming can be like this sometimes, that, that it can be uh, a little bit wonky. It doesn't just work simply in all cases. But anyway, let's get back to the specific issues. So to enable secure Secure boot. Now, I had a bunch of comments uh, saying that I had uh, not set things properly prior to enabling secure boot. Now, I actually had done the main things you need to do. And let me just run through these because in case you're watching this video and you're like, how do I enable secure boot? What settings do you need? So before enabling secure boot, uh, you do want to make sure that your BIOS is set to UEFI mode rather than like legacy CSM mode. You do want to make sure that your TPM, uh, trusted platform module, I think is what that stands for, but that should be somewhere in your BIOS that needs to be enabled. And then also, uh, the partition on your storage needs to be in GPT format. Now, and, and uh, some of those things it's best to have done like even prior to your Windows installation, uh, although I think sometimes you can switch over without causing issues. I know that some people have issues because they're trying to adjust some of those settings um, uh, uh, like kind of on the fly and then it causes some problems, but that's actually not the issue that I was experiencing here. Uh, the issue I was experiencing here, again, was I, I, I had all of those settings set, and then I tried to just boot the PC. I, I turned on secure boot mode, tried to boot the PC, and instantly encountered this error screen. Invalid signature detected, check secure boot policy and setup. Now, what I assumed was the problem is that I would just need to um, go into my, my key management and reset the factory keys. Um, the problem was I couldn't do that, nor could I even turn off secure boot mode to boot back into Windows. So I was actually effectively locked out of my PC, uh, which leads to some of the comments, which is like, clearly the most secure your PC has ever been. Uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely got that, right? Most secure the PC has ever been. Nobody could log into it. Uh, so anyway, the, the real issue that I think a lot of people missed on this uh, was that when I was in the BIOS uh, on this particular PC, going to the security uh, page and then going into secure boot, when I got there, uh, the problem was, sorry, where, where's an actual screenshot of it here? Yeah, when, when, when I uh, get into the secure boot page, uh, none of these settings can be changed. Uh, I was showing how if I held up my keyboard, like there was no way to navigate or change anything in this menu. I could not turn secure boot off, nor could I re uh, restore factory keys, which is what I really suspected I needed to do. And by the way, that is what ended up fixing this whole problem. Once I was able to get access to this menu, all I had to do was restore factory keys and I could log in to Windows with Secure Boot enabled. I could play Battlefield 6. Um, so in other words, uh, that's all I needed to do. I just needed to restore the factory keys. <laughs> that was it. Um, but I was unable to do anything in this menu for whatever reason. And I couldn't figure out how to get around that. Every time I would restart the PC, it would just instantly come back to this screen, instantly. Now, and, and I, I couldn't figure out a way around this. It was so frustrating. Because um, again, I couldn't change anything in this menu. Now, what a lot of people in the comments suggested, and I considered trying, was um, 
uh, was to clear CMOS, uh, like try to just kind of reset the BIOS entirely, um, which, you know, sometimes there's a like clear CMOS uh, button or something. I don't think there would be on this PC. This is a little mini PC, so opening it up would be annoying to get to the motherboard, but usually there's a little battery you can take out, and if you uh, do that, or sometimes you can short something, and it'll, it'll clear the CMOS, which basically uh, could reset the BIOS entirely, probably undo everything that I had done. But I wanted that to be a last resort. Like, this motherboard shouldn't be locking me out of that security menu. Like, I should be able to access that. So it's like, why is that not allowing me to do so? How do I solve this problem? So what ended up fixing it was this email. So I got this email from a viewer of the video uh, saying, uh, hello, I will just copy paste my YouTube comment because I'm pretty sure you will never see it. I know exactly what is the problem. I had the exact same one on one of my laptops. What is happening is that when it boots automatically into the BIOS, like here, because it can't boot into Windows, the security tab is gray and you can't change anything. See, this viewer understood this. See, this was the issue I was having. The issue wasn't that I didn't know what buttons to push in the BIOS. It's that it would not let me interact with the screen in the BIOS that I needed to do to do what I needed to do. Either just disable secure boot or re try restoring the factory keys, which I suspected would solve the problem. Um, but what he said was, what you need to do is when you re re reboot the PC, you need to manually get into the BIOS with the right key. So in other words, uh, now I, I know that that's how you usually get into BIOS, right? Like when you start a PC, especially if you've got Windows installed, it's just gonna boot into Windows. Um, and uh, But if you wanna get to your BIOS before you do that, you mash uh, some kind of hotkey. It's usually like delete or F12 or, uh, you know, depending on your motherboard, it can be a little bit different. I think on this PC it's delete. Um, but you just mash delete uh, or, so that before it starts booting in, uh, you, you go to your BIOS. Now I wasn't doing that here because when I would restart the PC, it would just instantly pop this screen up, and then when you click OK, it just goes into the BIOS. Why would I suspect that entering the BIOS in this manner was causing the problem? It would gray out the security, uh, th this security area, and I couldn't interact with this. But believe it or not, um, th this is this was actually the solution. Just mash the delete key to enter the BIOS manually before getting to this red splash screen. That was the problem. So if I enter the BIOS after seeing this screen, I can't change any of the relevant settings that would actually help me deal with the error that this screen is giving me. Um, but if I just mash the delete key to enter the BIOS uh, prior to seeing this warning, I enter the BIOS, everything seems exactly the same, except I could actually interact with this page, uh, which is what he's saying here. Then since you entered the BIOS manually and not automatically, you will be able to modify the security tab and disable secure boot. Uh, let me know if this helped. I let him know this did help. That was literally it. So for whatever reason, if you enter the BIOS by being on this screen, then clicking OK, and by the way, after that point, you know, I did try things like uh, from the BIOS restarting the PC, and, and again, all of that, like I could not interact with the security thing. But when I just uh, uh, tried restart power cycling, just doing a restart again and mashing the delete key to get into the BIOS prior to seeing this warning, then I could magically interact with this screen. All I had to do was restore factory keys, everything works perfectly incredibly frustrating, not only to have had this problem, uh, but to have, um, <laughs> but, uh, to have the solution be that, like, so maybe somebody who knows more about like bio stuff or PC security than I do. I mean, uh, you know, you know, in, in tech stuff like BIOS settings and PC security stuff, not at all by any means my area of expertise, nor do I pretend it to be. But why would entering the BIOS after seeing this screen not allow me to interact with these settings? I could interact with every single other setting in the BIOS to, that, that I tried, but not this particular screen. But if I just restart the PC and mash the delete key, and enter the BIOS and everything seems exactly the same, I could interact with this screen. Why is it programmed like this? Especially when this error warning seems to be warning me about um, like 
I, I would need to be changing things about the secure boot mode. So then you gray it out so I can't interact with it? What the heck is that? What kind of des design decision is that? Is that a bug or is this intended behavior? Because I was trying to wonder like, if this is intended behavior, why would it be programmed this way? Um, and all I could think of was like, somehow if it's triggering some security thing that it doesn't want you to be able to interact with the security screen for security purposes, but at the same time, I could just reset the PC and interact with it anyway after clicking the delete button. So if that is intended to be some sort of security behavior, I don't understand how it actually is security behavior if I can still make it work by just mashing the delete key to get into the BIOS the normal way. Why is it different? So maybe somehow it's just the order we're getting there in, but somehow for the end user, that needs to be way more clear um, why I'm unable to interact with the screen and what to do about it. Um, I don't know, seems like a bug to me, but if that's intended behavior and somebody understands it, please tell me in the comment section because I don't understand why that would be intended behavior for the BIOS. Anyway, so for those of you wondering, did I solve the problem? Uh, that was it, just needed to enter the BIOS a different way. Um, despite there appearing to be no difference between being in the BIOS like this and being in the BIOS the normal way, other than this one particular menu not being interactable um, when entering it after seeing this warning. Very strange. Now, my throat feels weird and I just realized I ate a mango candy and I'm slightly allergic to mango. So I'm gonna go deal with that. So maybe the next comments will be, did you survive the mango? I should be fine. My kids were giving me the Halloween candy they didn't want. I'm over here looking at, why does my throat feel scratchy? And I'm looking at this uh, wrapper and I'm like, oh, that's mango. <laughs> anyway, I, I, I should live. I'm not, as far as I know, I'm not uh, severely allergic. I hope all of you guys have an excellent day.